Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Eco Tobasi TV. If this is your first time of stopping by, thank you very much. I love you. Please do well to hit on the subscribe button, do well to like, do well to comment, and also share. This channel is all about news and history of Eco Tobasi local government area and Aquabum as a whole. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you a brief history about the creation of Aquaibom State. Aquaibom State was created on the 23rd of September 1987 by the then military administration of General Ibrahim Babangida. The creation of the state brought to fulfillment years of prolonged struggle by the people that occupied the mainland part of the former Cross River State. Governor Udom Emmanuel today earlier said Aquaibomites. 35 years ago today, as the sun made its eastward journey and darkness appeared on the horizon, the news broke with executive fiat, yet aided by the invisible hands of the Almighty God. The then military president, General Ibrahim Babangida, retired GCFR, announced to our eternal delight and joy the creation of a state appropriately named after God, Akwa Ibom State. Now the creation of a state was comfortably named after God, Akwa Ibom State. For many, the creation of the state was a mark of justice, having been left out in the earlier state creation exercises, despite leading in the struggle for state creation in Nigeria. Though the Ibibio Union, a foremost social cultural organization that served as a unifying platform for the people of this part of Nigeria. In 1948, Ibibio Union, formed in 1928, transformed from a mere culture association to a goal driven institution, which promoted and championed the cause of state creation in Nigeria. However, when in 1967 the 12 state structure was established following the creation of state by the General Yakubu Guon administration, the mainland part of Calabar province in the then eastern Nigeria was merely part of the then southeastern state. In 1976, southeastern state was renamed Cross River State. This change in name did not satisfy the people. Rather, it encouraged them to carry on with the struggle for a state of their own. After the collapse of the Second Republic in 1983, a memorandum demanding the creation of Akwaibom State was submitted to the General Buhari administration by the paramount rulers from the 10th local government areas that made up the mainland parts of the then Cross River State, even though it did not heal the desired results. Undoubted, the people waited for another opportunity. The opportunity came when in 1986, the administration of General Ibrahim Babangida set up a political bureau to define the future political direction of the country. The memorandum was resubmitted. On September 23, 1987, the dreams of the people was actualized as Aquaibum State, the land of promise, was finally created after about four decades of sustained agitation. Governor Udom Emmanuel also said in his speech today that Aquaibum State has become a sparkling destination for Nigerians and others across the globe. Today, Aquaibom State also boasts of some of the spectacular homes and estates in Nigeria and indeed Africa. From Pothole Road to Good Road, the Governor Udom Emmanuel also thanked the state security agencies who have cooperated and worked tirelessly with him to have a peaceful state called Aquaibom State that we are all proud of today. The governor also urged all Aquaibomites to always move forward. In his words, he said, forward ever, backward never. 
it has today become a sparkling destination of choice for Nigerians and others across the globe. From a collection of nondescript homes dotted in between the thatched roof houses, today our state boasts of some of the most spectacular homes and estates in the nation and indeed Africa. From pothole filled roads that could be counted by the fingertips gratitude to all security agencies, their leaders and operatives, and also all our fathers in faith in the last seven years plus who have cooperated and worked tirelessly and assiduously with me to ensure that we have a peaceful state called Aquaibum that we are all proud of today. I sincerely salute their courage and determination to continuously maintain this peace that we all enjoy today. All across sectors, as I've outlined, our state is on the trajectory of growth and development. The tone and tenor of governance is Christ and people centric. Thousands of people are flocking to our state monthly, taking up residences and buying our real estate. Tourism is on the upswing. And even though there is a lot still to be done, there is optimism in the air. There is hope in the air. There is safety and peace all around. Now, my dear Aquabomite, as Benjamin Franklin replied the lady, given all we have done together, the peace, the new tone of governance, the developmental strides, are you willing to keep this tone and move our state forward with it? Or do you want to reverse all this and return our state to the dark years of insecurity, of brigandage, of kidnapping, or intolerance, or differing opinion of leadership that equates self to God? That is the choice you will have to make. The choice between continuity and regression. The choice between sleeping with your eyes closed and the choice of staying awake in the fear of your lives and those of your children. By this time next year, God willing, the mantle of leadership would have been passed onto our God's chosen successor. In all of this, our resolve as a state, as a people, remain forward ever, backward never. Our determination to move our Bible state continually forward lies in our hands. And I sincerely believe that together we can. God bless Akwaba Sibum State. God bless Nigeria. And God bless us all. Happy 35th anniversary. Akwaibum, Edakaida Ami, Medakanda.